Hey, good morning, everybody. I hope you had a great weekend. It was wonderful here at Horseshoe Bay. We had the Stampede, the big event of the year. So many happy faces. It was so wonderful to watch that carry on. It was, it's just a great time here, and the weather was wonderful. I want to talk about a word today. I think this will be a real lesson for many of you, and I'm going to provide a little different slant on the same topic of something that I've covered before in case that last slant left you unresponsive. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not, and can have a different effect on, on two different people who hear the same thing. But I'm going to run an experiment first, and I'm going to have you help me with this experiment. I want you to name the quality that leaps to mind when I name these golfers. You ready? Freddie Couples. What quality leaps to mind when you hear his name? You've got it in your head already, don't you? Ernie Els. Sam Sneed. I could go on. Gene Littler. Steve Elkington. What's the word? Probably one word that would describe each and every one of those people. Now, my guess is that no one across this land, no one who's watching this, said balance. Even though they would concede that, yeah, they're, well, they're all balanced, but that's not the word that leapt to my mind. What was it? You either thought smooth, or you thought nice tempo, or you thought nice rhythm. Those would be the, th the three words. But here's the thing. If I ask you as a follow-up, yeah, but did you notice that they're also balanced? You would say, yes, yeah, they're balanced. And if I ask you why as a follow-up to that, why are they balanced? Well, because they have that nice tempo. You'd get back to that first word you said. As if balance is a result of doing that other thing well. well. And I'm here to tell you, this is today's lesson, I'm here to, here to tell you that it's the opposite. Whatever those three words were that you came up with, either rhythm or good tempo uh, or smooth, they got that because they were committed to balance. Now, to get an idea of how this works and wh why I can stay, say that with such conviction, I want you to just imagine for a moment that you're, that you're standing on top of two telephone poles. Telephone poles that are 300 feet in the air. You're standing on top of one, you're standing on top of another, you're 300 feet in the air, and there's a golf ball at your feet somehow magically, maybe it's floating in air. But regardless, you have to make a golf swing. You have to hit this ball. What kind of rhythm do you think you're gonna have? What kind of smooth swing do you think you're gonna have? What kind of tempo are you gonna have? You can believe it's gonna be the best, most rhythmic swing of your entire life. Why? Because you're committed to balance. You're afraid you're gonna fall, so you're gonna make sure you swing in balance. So you see what I'm saying, you get rhythm and tempo for free when you make your commitment in advance to being balanced. And in this case, it's self-preservation, right? You don't want to fall over. But in every case, that's where you start. It's balance works back to those other attributes. Now, I want to say that, and, and therefore I want to also impress upon you that it's important that we always be balanced. You know, if we make a practice wing, even a practice wing, even something as innocuous and benign as a practice wing, we would, we would think, that does this, we better not hit that ball, all right? The, it, that's the one chance we have where there's, we were completely re, re, uh, relieved of the responsibility of hitting anything. We better be at least balanced and relaxed at that finish so that we can then put that swing on the golf ball. We've got to commit at all times to relaxed balance at the finish of the golf swing. Now, why do I say relaxed? Because I don't want you to believe that, that you've achieved balance simply by being in a position where you're not falling over, all right? Balance without relaxation isn't balance. I should be able to stand here without having to put the braces down just to talk to you. I'm not only balanced, but I'm relaxed. You should be just as relaxed and balanced at the finish of your golf swing. Not an inch taller up here where nervous people are, but an inch shorter down here where you're relaxed. And this is why I'm always trying to impress on everybody the need to finish with the knees touching. Now let's just look at this for a moment. When someone's knee, it seems like the, the golf swing is complete, but their knee is still a foot from the other knee, it's just because they have tension. How do I say that? Because if they just relax that leg, watch what happens. Suddenly their knees are touching. So it's, it's a means to another end. I wanna make sure that they're getting together, not because there's any magic in knees touching after the ball's gone, but by getting there, they're more likely to be relaxed on the, at the finish position, which means they're likely uh, more relaxed and balanced on every intervallic movement in the swing. What else do I always say? I'm always saying it at a finish, you need to have your hands behind your left ear. Why is that? Well, because people who are not relaxed tend to tighten up right after the ball's been struck. You've seen this before. All right? If, you know, the, the work has been done, the ball has been struck, and a soft, compliant body, if you're relaxed, will, will end up with your hands behind your left ear. And so what I'd like you to do is hit your next 100 balls on the range with no other ambition, no other judgment of yourself, other than that which has to do with finding out and discovering for yourself and therefore developing 
relaxed balance at the finish of your golf swing. And what you'll find is to do that, if, to act, if you actually achieve that, two things will happen. You will have had to have been relaxed and balanced at every part of the swing getting you there. And soon, this is part two, results will follow. You don't have to wish for it for sure. If you add relaxation and balance to your finish, your golf swing and your golf shots will improve. All right, so I want to thank you for watching. I'll look forward to seeing you next week.